Hello, good morning. Saturday the 24th of August 2019, 06.37 hours. Late summer bank holiday weekend. The day after Tropic Hale, Hale 2019 at the Ockley. It was quite nice actually and some nice people there as well. Anyway, today's Newport. It's nicely fresh. Coffee and a Saturday morning wrap. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Queen's Hotel. We're off. Yeah. Kellam Island Pale Ale, Kellam Island Brewery, Sheffield. I need to go to Sheffield. Used to go there with a lot of work. Um, anyway, 5.2% alcohol by volume. 199 a pint. Nice bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Cold. Mmm. Hoppy, grapefruity. Nicely bitter on the finish. Be plus in a bit. I might come back to it when it warms up a bit. Video on the move today. It's really warm already. Anyway, moving on to the John Wallace Larry Linton. Oh gosh, maybe that is a visit today. Who knows? I had this during the week in the tumble. This is Hop Perfect IPA. Brewed exclusively for JD Weatherspoon, so it's one of the Wilderness Country Banks brew it. And it's Yazoo Brewing Co. Hot Perfect IPA, 4.8% of the whole by volume. It's even better in here, it's a B. Hello, where the flies? I'm sitting near the front, you can see the doors. And I think it's the weather. And I had a great chat with the barmaid about car parking and bits of bodies and things. Look at John Wallace Linton. There are memories. Anyway, um, B plus plus, and you can see there's a fly. Anyway, I'm behind schedule. The news is on over there. I don't quite read. Well, I just about read it. Um, fruity, tropical, bit of grapes, bit of everything in there, and it really works. And hats off to uh, Mr. Tomlinson. Actually, Stow Hill has a cooling breeze. And it's blowing up the hill. Anyway, pen and wig, Newport. So, this is the Tudor Brewery from Llanhilleth. I don't know, uh, eight, nine miles up the road. Nearly at Abertillery. Anyway, um, this is Blitz Pomegranate Fruit Beer. I gave it B plus and a bit before, which is 3.25 on untapped, my scoring. And it says Pomegranate and Sherbet, and it's a little bit too sweet for me today. However, the sun's out, so let's say B plus, which is good. And it's in a Reverend James Glass. Hey, collab. Oh, better stop. Could get taken down to the music. I was given a sample of this to try. Now, in the past, they have been a bit. However, I'm not very good at elderflower. I haven't really tried elderflower on its own, but it is really good. It's refreshing. A bit sharp. A bit fruity, but not sweet. I'm going to say B. Okay, review coming up. So here's a brewery I really like, the Gloucester Brewery. Going back there for Oktoberfest in October. Cascade 4.2% alcohol by volume. Amber Malty Bitter. A little wooden falling, Mr. Manning. Um, malty aroma. Yeah. 
a little bit fruity. And a sweet fruity finish. I'm thinking B plus in a bit. That's nice. Oh gosh, behind the schedule, chips next. I love the chips. I'm way behind the schedule. I don't care. So over there, at the fish bar. There's no one near Harper. Here we go. Tiny Rebel Newport. Here's the thing. Most of all the day is reserved. Including my seat. Anyway, fine ales. I think they're from Scotland. This is 4% alcohol by volume and it's beer life balance. It's a just present. And it's got that sour cucumber. That's not bad actually. Sour, peppery. I can't think. Oh, it'll be plus in the bed. There you go. Left handed giant, which are uh, from Bristol and have a new castle, which is not far away from Bristol Temple Meads. Well packed. New best friend, 6.7% alcohol by volume. It's an IPA. Coriander seeds, B plus plus. 